New developments in Seattle's fight against the homeless crisis. A council member wants to move funding from the city's navigation team. Kyra 7's Runji Sinha is live for us in Seattle to explain this. Runji, what we do know is council member Shama Sawant wants to build more tiny houses with that money instead. And Michelle, she wants to do away with sweeps of situations like this one behind me, RVs parked and housing the homeless. She says the navigation team really not working for people like this. Money would be better spent on services for the homeless. Now, Salon wants to use the funding to build those tiny house villages. She wants 40 around the city. Right now, there are just nine. Last night, there was a public hearing on the issues. Backers of tiny homes say they're cost effective. The best way to move people into permanent housing and get them into situations like employment. Not only are we able to house and keep them um, out of the cold, but also transition into living wage jobs. To be part of this, to be part of the um, homeless getting off the streets and into a, a place where they can find direction to a better way of life. Now, Mayor Jenny Durkin has a different point of view. She wants to keep the navigation team. She added more money to it as part of her more than $100 million budget proposal, also discussed by City Council yesterday. Money in the mayor's proposal also going towards the Human Services Department, enhanced shelters, permanent housing, and sanctioned camps that could theoretically replace RV situations like this. A vote on that budget to deal with the homeless crisis is coming up on November 25th. We're live in Seattle. Let's throw it back to the studio.